Hi, today I'm going to be testing out my small water pump here. Um, I do have it hooked up to a foot valve down there. Uh, this is one inch and one inch here. I have them reduced down to three quarter inch. And I have three quarter inch fittings and pipes going down onto a three quarter inch foot valve. I have a three quarter inch pipe going out. Now these pipes are not glued together. So, you know, I just stuck them together. Before you use any pump like this, there are two things you need to do. One, you loosen this here. Take that completely out. And you have to prime these. Now, I already did this, so it should be pretty close right here at the top. You can see right, right there. And you have to pour water in here until it comes out the top. These have to be primed. This is a basically a jet pump. And then you put it back on and then tighten it back down. And number two, you always go back here to the fan, slide a screwdriver in there, and make sure that fan spins freely. And that's it. Now this little pump does not have a switch on it, uh, at least I haven't found one and I don't see one, so um, I will be putting a switch on the cord itself so I can turn it off and on. Uh, we're going to run it off of my power inverter. Now this pump says 350 watts, it is way too uh, hard to pull on a 400 watt inverter. So don't expect to buy something like this and then run it off a small, cheap Walmart inverter that is 400 watts. Maybe 750 might push this, but I do know a 400 will not push this. Even though it only says 110 volt and 2.9 amps, um, a 400 watt inverter will not push this. So let's see what it does. Well, I do believe I had it primed. Let me check that again. Make sure it's primed. Because there should be water coming out by now. Uh, maybe there's air bowl in there. It does happen. Yep, that's what it looks like. So, let's make sure it's primed. Now that should definitely be primed. And let's see what this does. This is supposed to pick up uh, like 25 feet. So we'll see if it even works at all. It could be I'm getting air through my pipes. Like I said, none of these are clean. Uh, not clean, but uh, glued. There we go. That's what it was. It just needs a little bit more water. Now you can see how fast that's pulling and you can of course see water leaking here like I said I don't have any pipe tape or anything on here I don't have them tight really super tight I will be putting pipe tape on there and gluing all my pipes together when we use this and look at that go so if you're wanting to use one of these off-grid Alright, I'm going to shut this off before it gets down to the bottom of that foot valve there. I don't want to suck air up. If you're going to be using one of these off-grid, do not skimp on the inverter. Like I said, I already tested, before I even tried this, the 400 watt inverter, which should technically carry this because it is a 350 watt pull. But... It kept overloading and tripping, but it is a cheap Walmart inverter. And so, you know what? A 1,000 watt inverter would pull this. Possibly a 750 watt inverter. Most likely that would do it. 
and of course my 1100 watt inverter handles this with no issues and you can see how well the water flow is and this is just a cheap like 39 40 dollar water pump off of ebay and once again I, there is no switch on this on or off switch i will be putting a switch on the cord itself just um you know right here i will make a plug with a light switch on it to turn off and on the main hot side and you know that way when i turn the switch on the pump will come on when i turn it off it'll go off this does not have a pressure tank so if you leave it running it's just gonna keep running 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 anyway i want to do a little review on this i want to check it out it seems to be working good it seems to pump even better than my submersible pump does so once again this here lease i just have it pretty much hand tight i will be putting some pipe tape on all the fittings and connections um when i hook this up i will glue all the pipe together when i hook this up right now it's just look at that and you heard it it just hit air so anyway that's it this little cheap little water pump if you need something for off grid if you don't have a super deep well and you really don't want to hand pump that this seems to pump a good amount of water and you know like I said uh, it could probably run off one battery without an issue if you don't use it full time you could have one solar panel on there one battery and use it as you need it but that's it for this I'm fishing to go and everyone have a good day bye